Hey guys, so I wanted to go over a couple things that um, a lot of questions were asked in my last post that was regarding this piece right here. So a lot of the questions that came up and were actually repeated a couple times was, hey, why are you doing relief cuts if you have a press? Um, why are you putting those relief cuts if you're just gonna weld them up anyways? So I'll go over that and a couple other things as well. Now, if you are familiar with a break and have a press break, um, this video won't apply to you because you already know these things. This is just to touch on those many questions and maybe somebody might find it useful. So I'm gonna run a couple videos, put them all together, and hopefully it helps you guys out. So we're gonna be using this. It's the Harbor Freight 20 ton press. Uh, I went with the air over hydraulic bottle. And instead of uh, using the hand switch, I actually opted to replace it for a foot pedal. So that way, larger pieces, I get to hold them still, uh, feed them into the press so it doesn't fall out, make sure everything's aligned, and that way, operate it with my foot there. So what we're gonna be doing is taking this and turning it into this. But there are a few limitations. Um, but Anyways, we'll get to that in just a sec. So let's get started, feed this, and get it bent up. All right, so once you have your piece ready, um, really you just feed it in here. And you know, usually you'll either have like a little notch on each end or mark, whatever. That way you know where to stay at. So feed it. Now, if my air compressor comes on, uh, I'm sorry, you won't be able to hear me, but uh, hopefully it doesn't come on here. Anyways. Here is the first bed. bend okay now that we have our first bend um, what gets really tricky is that second bend now this is where uh, we can answer the question hey why do you have that relief cut well because one I generally sell parts uh, to DIYers so that way those that don't have a press they can just go ahead and take this put it on their device and just bend it on their own um, in my case um, I do have a press brake, but what I don't have are gooseneck dies. Now gooseneck dies allow you to create that second bend and not interfere with this first one. You'll see what I mean here. So just go ahead and load it up, that second bend, and you'll see what I mean. So we're not even all the way at 90. In fact, we're probably about 35 degrees and we're running into interference here. So that's why I have the relief cut. If I had gooseneck dies, this would be a non-issue here. But since I don't, um, I won't let the relief cut so I can finish the bend on my vise. Uh, the other thing is too, is by having that relief cut, it helps me to know where my line is and go straight from there so it's square but again like i said i sell to a lot of diyers so really that's a non-issue for them they like having their relief cut they like being able to bend their own parts at home uh weld them up on their own and you know that's it you know it's cheaper for them cheaper for me and quicker turnaround um but that touches on another question somebody asked me hey why do you weld them up well 
the way it is right now, um, it's more prone to you know bending in and out. So once we get it to where we need that width, you weld it up, and that way it's no longer prone to bending and it's strong again. So I hope that helped. Again, uh, Harbor Freight 20 ton press with an air over hydraulic um, setup and swag off road heavy duty uh, finger brake. And that's it. So we're back. Uh, you can see I finished the bend on the vise just as needed, super easy. Now that I'm done, I'll ensure that I have my width. Um, I'll actually put square tube, something to keep that there, keep that width, that way it doesn't close up when I weld it. Weld it, both sides, clean it up, and it's done. Um, but no, I don't put a relief cut and everything. As you can see, this right here is a quarter inch skid plate for a Land Cruiser. Uh, you can see I fully bent it up. It's about a 22 degree angle here, and like a 10 degree, and a 17 degree, but anyways, Quarter inch, no really effects, nice and clean, so you can see what it's capable of. Anyways, again, I hope that helps. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and throw it up on the comments, and uh, I'd like to get back to you, and that's it. Thanks so much.